Okay, I'm going to start with my upgrades for my uh, DRC9310. Today, i got my bearings from TRBRC, and these are going to fit my wheels and then my shocks. They're from Hobby Park. So what we got to do here, <clears throat> start, let's get this cover off. We gotta take all our wheels off. Use this handy dandy tire tool and we'll get to it. Okay, once you uh, get those wheels off, you got these hexes here, these 12 millimeter, and I think, yeah, they just slide off. Scoot over underneath there and just pop them out. And then we gotta get the other three out. Okay, I got all those hex heads off. And these are 12 millimeters. So if you're buying tires and you're looking for it, just go 12 hex. And the tires that I ordered are for a 110 scale, but they will fit it because of this 12 hex right here. And they were supposed to be here today, but they're held up till Monday. So we're gonna get as far as we can with these. So now we're gonna have to start by dropping our front end apart and uh, we get this bushing out right here and there's two of them there's one here and one here on the inside okay when you're taking this front end apart I took this uh, I guess it's a stabilizer there the steering linkage will come off with an Allen wrench right here. So you can drop this out of the way, see, and it kind of sits there. And I guess that's their version of a ball joint. See, now my drive line's free. Axle, I guess. Now I just need to take these two screws there's my axle. This screw here and this screw here and then we'll be able to just drop it out and pop these two bushings out. See now they have this all the way off. See what it is is there's a bushing right there. Let me use this tool to try to dig these out. And we'll snap our bearings back into place where these came. Yeah it's, it's working out. It's gonna see how it's working out of there. Just keep going around. There it goes, right there. There's our little, it's just a bushing. I see a lot of uh, footage on these, and <clears throat> they say where they wear out, you know, and then everything's gonna get sloppy. So then we're gonna work this other one out, and we'll snap. This one's a little tougher here. Yeah, it's coming out now. It's just it broke free a little bit. Okay, I was struggling to get it out, picking it out with my pick. So what I did was I rolled it over like this, and I just pressed down a little bit around the edges. See, and there's that bushing. This all cleaned out real good, and I'll get my bearings ready to go in. Okay, well, I've got that front end done. These are new bearings. See, this is what they were. This is just this bushing. Now we got a nice bearing for a smooth roll. 
they're nothing more than just a little steel bushing, which I'll keep, you know, just in case the grain goes out. But these, this kit that I ordered does come with 10, so we do have two extras just in case one burns out and I have to finish doing this uh, back in and get some things cleaned up, and then I'll change my shocks out. But these, the rear end's much easier than the front because you have to undo this linkage here. Back here, I just pop this screw right here and fold everything over, and then it'll come apart, and it's good to go. Yeah, this one screw, which is rather convenient for the rear end. Oh, where is it? Let me just undo this screw here. And then see how that just popped over? And then it will have out. That chicken bone, whatever they call it, looks like a chicken bone. Anyway, it can just stay right there. And then like before, we just will work it out. I like this curved pick because it gets right in there and does the job well. And see how it's slowly coming out here? There it goes, it just popped right out and hit the floor. Ta-da! You can see it's out. Inside the same way, but I like trying to push that side out from here because it's hard to get into that little deep section there. Without, man, oh yeah, it's going to push on them. I'm not pushing that into my finger. Yeah, it's going to fight me. Oh, my chicken bone fell out. Yeah. Looks like that bushing already fell out. How many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. It just fell out. <laughs> that works. Okay, so these bearings, I meant to show you, and I ended up having a phone call. We lost a family member, and, well, it was kind of a rough phone call. So we've actually been about two hours since I did the rear. I wanted to see how, just see how easy that is. It just pops right in there. Well, same thing on this side. You just drop it down inside, and uh, I'm going to use a screwdriver. Just kind of push it in flat and get it in there. Nice and tight like that. And kill it. And then this hub. Ooh, that one's a little dirty here. Nice and clean now. And we're going to feed that hub through there. And... Press it in there nice and tight. Make sure that other bearing stays. And this, I don't know what it is. It's chicken bone. Put my little nose piece in there and line that up real good. And bang. It's ready to go back together. Now we just drop this little fellow down right here. And I, this does go pretty quickly. And line that up. And there's that side. I mean, that was pretty quick. It, it, it rolls pretty smooth. And this one will be the same way. We just drop this linkage here. Oh, yeah. I can't find my good screwdriver for the life of me. But yeah, that one don't fit. Okay, so take this here, bang, pull it out again, and might as well just drop my chicken bone because it's going to fall out anyway. And uh, let's see about getting this out. Oh, yeah, I clipped right out of there.
There it is. Pretty easy. It's floor pretty easy too. Okay. So now, yeah, that one didn't fall out nearly as easy as the other one did. So let's see if we can just push it out now. Nope. There it went, but right out. Bang. Bushings are out. So this one is a little bit dirty right here. Get that out of there. Here we go again. Excuse me. So sorry. Seeing how it just it fits down in there nice and pretty. Oh yeah, clean that hub off. And we're gonna drop that pin. I got the dropsies. And we just drop, see that right in there? Chicken bone here. this up here bang there we are Oops. tight bearings are in so now we have all four tires have fresh bearings in them no longer have bushings she's ready to roll now we're going to change these shocks these are pretty quickly easily done the screw here screw just just one two three four five six seven eight screws We'll get these out and see what happens. I got one of those in there, and yeah, they don't. It's definitely a better shock. This is how you'd stiffen it up, you know, stiffer shocks or whatever, and then yeah, this won't be bad. Gotta get through the other three, and we'll uh, see how she. Works. Well, the four of these shocks are on now. Just got to finish tightening these up here. Okay, yeah, they even look better. Yeah, I like that. I can stiffen them up if I want to just by turn of a dial. I'm gonna soften these as much as possible right now. Nice and soft, yeah. You can raise and lower the vehicle too this way. Okay, there we go. They look pretty sharp too. A lot better than this old plastic crap they send you with. I think it's spraying now, I'll keep these, you know, just in case something happens with one of these. Yeah, aluminum versus plastic crap. We get it put back together and take it for a good run. Last these wheels on. So the the bearing size in this is six by ten by three millimeters, and uh, I order them off Amazon, and that's several different selections. And I actually picked. Uh, the cheapest set they have, and they fit perfect. 
and it's tight, which is it's all nice and tight. And get rid of those. Oh yeah. Yeah, just doop. And you bounce. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. Let's go take it for a test run. Okay, and these Hobby Park um, shocks I got yesterday, uh, they don't inform you they do not film with oil. They have very limited oil in it, so <clears throat> I went through, took it all apart, refilled them with oil, and they were still real bouncy. So what I've done, what I'm about to do is, uh, these springs up my stock are a little bit less weak. I mean, they're a bit taller, but I think they'll work. It's, uh, but these things here, see how they're plastic and they just uh, won't come apart when I was looking. I was like, how do I get these apart? So what I did was I, there's a hole in it right there. And what I did there was I slipped a screwdriver through there and took my pliers. And kind of, you see where that little slippy thing is and brought to the middle and just turned it got it out of that lock position and they come apart pretty easily and then I can get that weaker spring out of there so what I'd like to do here is uh, switch them over see if this because this is really stiff and I want to top these off a little bit more oil and uh, I used uh, 40 weight synthetic Yeah, these are really stiff, so I still had my bounce that I was trying to get rid of. So let's see what we can do about getting this a uh, little bit better here. Okay, so these Hobby Park uh, shocks are really kind of easy to get apart this way. So you pull the spring back here, and then this little keeper kind of shove up on it. And uh, pop it right out. Now see what I was saying is I did a partial fill. I filled them about three quarters of the way full. And when you push in on this, these should shove back out. So I'm going to finish filling these up. That's pretty easy as well. You just, there you go. You really got to, there we go. Yeah, there's some bubbles in there too, I see. When the brick goes out, you just kind of press up on the plunder and pull down, and we'll get them out of there. Because my container was so big and that darn thing was getting everywhere, I use a uh, dental jet here, and I'm just going to finish filling this up. Oh, there we go. It is full. I'm kind of rid of that. There, see, and I just push up on the plunger, go back down, make sure we got any air pockets out. It, it looks pretty good, and then stuff that cap back on there. Let's get it down as tight as we can. There's a little oil everywhere here. Take my little paper towel and get it soft up there. Let's get this tight as I can get it. My hand, and then we'll tighten it up here in a bit. Put that guy up against the dirty a little more oil here. Okay, now when you push up in here, this should shoot back out. See? It's got enough oil in it now. And the reverse process with this blue spring here, this should fit the top, and it does not fit. It's because of that raised edge there. Let's hope that I can get it kind of, I'm going to see the difference between the two. And then just slip this back over top there. Yeah, it doesn't fit here either. Boy, that really makes, ooh, that's a lot stiffer. So this is, ooh, yeah, that's not going to work. It does look cool with that blue spring, but yeah, it needs to be able to get right up on that race there in here. And it's just not, it's just a touch too small. That's back to the drawing board. But it's pretty easy. You can see to get these apart. 
and the shock is. So I'm going to set aside without the spring so I don't get lost in filling these up. And we'll just move on to the next and it's much easier to get those tops off too once you get this spring apart. Let's see. Let's back that one off a touch and uh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look here. And this is pretty quick but I wish that when Hobby Park sells these at least give you instructions that hey we, you got to fill these with oil because I mean it has so little oil in there it was barely any of it. I just dumped them out, cleaned them out, and then put fresh. Yeah, let's get the bubbles out of there. And it's full. one will be the same way. Yeah. Pushes back out like it's supposed to. Okay, I got all my shocks filled here. I'm going to get these springs back on. Oh, yeah, I like the way that returns. Reverse process. Slide those in. Repeat. This is pretty easy. I just wish that uh, Hobby Park would have put instructions in there. You know, hey, there's no oil in it. You know, you have to put oil in it. And one of them was pretty dry. Had hardly any at all. So if you pick up a set of these, you know, pull them apart, check the oil levels, and change it. Now, we're all ready. Get it installed on the vehicle, and we'll go test. <laughs> 